Hi, good day everyone. I'm Alex. I'm here to introduce to all of you a new monofocal lens that is easily available in Malaysia recently. This lens is Technis Ihan Icebu, which is a monofocal with enhanced intermediate visions. I will talk to you all about the pros and cons comparing to a normal monofocal Technis Zexibu and also a Technis Symphony Edof based on the evident base. I would like to share with you all about the visual range. So normally for a distant vision is needed for example for driving or looking for scenery whereas for intermediate vision it is for using computer or cooking. Near vision is needed such as for reading or texting message. So we all know Monofocal is only good for distant vision only without providing any intermediate or near vision. Hence, Technics Ihans is a new uh, available lens which, uh, which is a monofocal with enhanced intermediate vision. It is a single piece 6mm bi convex hydrophobic acrylic monofocal. A spheric lens with a property of negative spherical aberration of minus 0.27 micrometer and it does not have diffractive rings and there's no zones which is very similar with a normal Technis Zexibu monofocal lens. Until now, it does not have any toric yet. Whereas for Technis Symphony, is one of the EDOF lens. It is a single piece hydrophobic acrylic lens with a aspheric lens with a negative spherical aberration of minus 0.27 micrometer and the optical zone or diameter is also about 6 mm. So from this slide, it's a very busy slide, but from here I just want to conclude that uh, in terms of the distant vision. Uh, the comparison between a normal monofocal lens versus a monofocal with enhanced intermediate Technics Ihans Icebu versus the Edof Technics Symphony, there's no difference in terms of the different uh, distant visions. All of them achieve very good binocular distant vision, and all of the patient does not need any spectacles. In terms of the intermediate visions, the Technics Ihan groups is better as compared to monofocal Technics Zexibu lens when tested at 66 cm. In terms of the spectacles, 90% of the patient for Technics Zexibu monofocal lens need spectacles, whereas for Technics Ihan, this new lens, only about 20% of the patient need spectacles. But for Technics Symphony, it's the best where less than 4% of the patient need spectacles in terms of the intermediate vision. And even when it is tested, tested at 60 cm, most of the pa patients can achieve 0.05 log mark. Whereas for near vision, both mo uh, normal monofocal Technics Zexibu and Technics Ihans is about the same in terms of the near visions and also about the same 95 to 100 percent of the patient needs spectacles whereas for Technics Symphony it is the best in terms of the near vision as well where most of the patient achieve 0.18 log mark when tested at 40 cm and only about 16 percent of the patient needs spectacles for near vision so however as we know that EDOF lens is very expensive, it's much more expensive than uh, normal monofocal lens and also the IHANS lens. Hence, Monovision Technics is introduced. It actually was introduced in 1984 where, where, where people create the artificial and isometropia to correct the presbyopia to achieve a wider range of functional vision. It further classified into full monovision, modest monovision, and mini monovision, where mini monovision is, is where when the end isometropia between two eyes is minus 0.5 until minus 
0.75 diopter. So, in this slide, I would like to share with you all, many studies and journals have concluded that when the anisometropia between both eyes is more than one diopter, the distance and the intermediate vision will be affected and the stereosis and contrast sensitivity will reduce. So, study also show that mini monovision is very safe where it is aimed between minus zero and between 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 delta between both eyes. So, from the result uh, by previous studies by Hayashi and also Jet et al. in 2015 and 2016, after they applied the mini monovision vision technique, which is 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 delta between both eyes, it clearly showed that the uh, distant, intermediate, and the near vision for the monofocal lens technique Zaxibu is improved after the using this mini monovision technique. So, how about this mini monovision technique if we apply in this technique's eye hands lens? Will it be compa comparable to the EDOF Symphony lens when tested at 60 cm for the intermediate vision? And also, how about the near vision? Okay, so in this slide, I want to share with you all Technics Ihan ICBU lens when compared to Technics Zexibu monofocal lens. In terms of the contrast sensitivity, glaring, and halos, there is no statistically significant. Whereas for EDOF, when compared to a normal monofocal lens, the uh, contrast sensitivity is the same. Whereas for glaring and halos, 10% of the patient for EDOF lens were reported occasionally of glaring and halo. With that, I am conducting a study which is the comparison of the visual acuity outcome between a new monofocal lens with enhanced intermediate vision, which is this technique IHANS ICBU, after using mini monovision techniques versus the extended depth of focus which is the Technic Symphony lens. If the result is comparable to the EDOF, this technique can be applied to this new lens for financial constraints patients to achieve a wider range of visions. My inclusion criteria will be all patients with bilateral eye cataract age group more than 35 years old, cornea astic less than 1.5, Axial length between 22 to 26 mm with a normal OCT RNFL and macula. If you encounter any suitable patient, kindly let me know. I am very glad to help to explain to the patient regarding this lens and also for the IOL calculation. Thank you very much.